Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I hope you guys are having a good day because uh, my wallet is not. So I mentioned this in another video that we'll probably post after this video, but I was incredibly good over the 21 Days Beauty, only put in two orders. And then uh, after 21 Days Beauty, they were like, hey, here's a really big free gift if you're a Diamond member. Here's this, here's this, here's this. And so now I have put in three orders all over $150 since 21 Days Beauty ended a week and a half ago. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm excited about the things that I bought. Um, I bought, so, just to put in the catalyst, I bought so much stuff. My storage container for my makeup, which was already pretty much packed, is now virtually useless. And so I had to then buy an $80 dresser from Walmart, which will be here Friday for me to build, to then put all my makeup in. So now I have a full dresser worth of storage just waiting to be filled with my makeup collection. That is how much stuff I have purchased just from these three hauls alone. So get ready, just buckle up, there's a lot. Now the reason I decided to do this one, they sent me a free gift. I had a 20% off coupon for prestige brands and everything. I was getting a lot of points for it. And Naked, I mean Naked, uh, Urban Decay just released their Naked Honey palette and the Naked collection is personally a very nostalgic one for me. It was one of the very first um, higher end makeup products I ever received was the Naked 2. Um, so I have a very deep love for that particular brand, so I knew I was going to get it immediately, or that particular brand in that particular collection. So I knew I was going to get it immediately um, because I had the coupon, because I had the free gift and everything else. It went ahead and incentivized me to go ahead and put in this very large order. Um, and I also was able to wait until Wednesday and get the Wednesday free gift as well. So there's a lot in this box. It was a very expensive haul. I don't remember exactly. I'm thinking it was around like $160. Um, I think it was the cheapest one of all the ones that I put in, but I'm not positive on that. Um, but I did pick up the Naked Honey. I picked up a couple other new releases. And to start with, I got a lot of great stuff for one of our giveaways. Um, and I wanted to address that first. So I'm going to call this Everything I picked up for you guys was all stuff that I would classify as some of my favorites in my beauty regimen, in, you know, hair care, all of it. So I picked these all up. They were all on sale. Um, so I think I, I got a pretty good deal on all of them and I bought a lot of it for myself as well. But I wanted to give you guys um, some additions into the giveaway that were kind of things that I've talked about a lot and that you guys have seen me use. So that way there was kind of like a personalized feeling to it, if that makes sense. Um, the first two things I want to talk about is I picked up the BH Cosmetics, the Hanging in Hawaii, and the Summer in St. Tropez. You guys, of course, saw me make the Summer in St. Tropez eye look, and I really, really liked it. I was very impressed with this palette. And then the Hanging in Hawaii I purchased before we started the YouTube channel, but it's been one of my favorites in my collection because it's just a very workable palette. It's a lot of neutral shades, there's a lot of pretty colors, and it's easy to blend out, and it's not very expensive. So these were both on sale, and I decided to pick those up to include in giveaways. I believe I'm actually going to incorporate this one into the 100 subscriber giveaway that's coming up soon. So please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. That's my plug for the day. Thank you for listening. Um, but yeah, so I picked, I picked that up with the intention I'm gonna throw that into the 100 subscriber giveaway and then this, these, the rest of them are going to the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So Summer in St. Tropez is going in there. And then you guys have heard me talk a ton about Yes2. I only use their makeup wipes. In fact, I've diminished my supply so so severely that I actually picked up two for myself as well. But I wanted to throw in one to the giveaway as well so that you guys could see why I like them so much. They smell really good. They're not super expensive, very affordable. They treat your skin really well. Each one of the different varieties does something different for it. The cucumber is cooling and it helps with redness and things like that, which you guys know I always struggle with. So I picked those up to throw in with you guys. And then I also got you guys the Yes2 Cooling Hydrating Stick Primer, which you guys saw me haul and have tried on in front of the camera a couple times. I really like this one as well. Um, it is a really nice option for an affordable primer that's going to last you a long time. There is a ton of product in there. And then finally for the giveaway, I wanted to include a hair product as well. 
Uh, not sure how this is going to work with shipping because I know there's weird shipping rules, but I mean, if Ulta can send it to me, I feel like I can figure out how to send it to you guys. Um, but it's the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. I have it in my hair currently, not this bottle, my own bottle. I didn't use yours, I promise. Um, but I really, really like this as a dry shampoo. Um, it works really well for daily use. It does give a nice matting uh, drying effect without making it like super powdery or like too white because there's some that they come out and they like literally look like you just dumped baby powder on your head. This does a really good job of not doing that um, and it's a super solid size. It's a super like quality formula. I wanted to let you guys kind of experience that as well so you can see why I love it as much as I do. So those were all things that I wanted to include to personalize the giveaway, if you will. So that way it was like stuff that not only was like on a, a good deal or something like that, but it was something that like I really like using and I think you guys would really like to use as well. And moving right along into now my bag of stuff that I bought for myself that I didn't need, but now I own. Um, I did get, got two of the S2 makeup wipes for myself because my collection is, uh, it's, it's real low now. Um, I just threw away one bottle of the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy, so I picked up another one because I wanted to make sure that I had uh, a good amount. I'm always worried about um, running out when it's not on sale, and then I'm going to have to buy it full price, and full price is like $6, but for some reason, if I can get it for, you know, $3, then why would I not choose to do that? I like money. Yeah, I know you guys can't tell because I spend a lot of it, but I do like it. So I always try and buy it when it's on sale, and that way I make sure that I never run out of it. All of BH's collection was on sale. I think it was like 30% off, which is why I picked up the Hanging in Hawaii and the Summer in St. Tropez for you guys. Um, but there was a couple ones that I had not, either I hadn't seen or I hadn't heard about, um, or I had seen and I hadn't picked up yet. Um, and I decided to pick up two more for myself. Not that I needed them because I have about 50 BH palettes as, uh, as we speak, but whatever. Um, so I did get the It's My Ray Ray. Um, and this is, it's a really pretty, like, color collection I will say that there's like a little bit of like something going on with this orange shade I don't think you guys can see it on camera but um I just could like I could I can especially see it in the light it's like slightly discolored it's fine I'm not really concerned about it it is what it is I don't think I'll die or I will who knows um but it's a really pretty palette um there's a lot of good colors mixed with um some nice neutral shades and there's some shimmers and some mattes as well I really like a palette that includes um, basically the same tone, but in matte and in shimmer. I don't know why. I just feel like it makes it easier when you're trying to blend stuff if you have like cohesive shades. So I thought that was a nice one and it was only like $8 or something like that. So it really wasn't expensive. So I did pick that one up. And then I also got the Desert Oasis, which I had not seen anything about, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like just loving it. Just love it. I just, I, I love it. I'll have to test it on camera. It is uh, primarily shimmer shades. So that's gonna be one of those that I probably am not using solely on its own. I'll probably use it with a, another palette just so I have some blending shades. I did get the Naked Honey palette. That's what the box looks like that it comes in. That's what the package looks like. Really pretty. Nikki actually was the one who pointed out it doesn't really look like any of the other Naked packaging um, for that collection. And it doesn't. Um, they've done some raised stuff before. They've done a lot of the really pretty swirls and things. Um, but a lot of their past palettes, um, or the, especially the recent ones, have been like those glossy um, finished ones. And this is a very textured one, almost feels like a bar of gold, which I'm a fan of. Um, so it's really pretty packaging, always is, though I'm not surprised by that. And then this is the palette itself, absolutely gorgeous. If it looks like it has been touched or used, it's because it has. The eye look that I have on my eyes currently was made with this here palette. Um, so you guys will see that because we recorded that as well. Um, so yeah, so loved it if you want a spoiler. I absolutely loved it. It will definitely, I um, I had a, a friend and subscriber ask me for a fall favorites video. I'm working on that. I'm currently compiling my little list. I'm gonna wait till we get through all these hauls and I can get some um, time to practice and work with the palette, see if I like those before I compile the full list. But I promise you, sneak peek, this is gonna be on it because it was great. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so the Naked Honey picked that one up. And then the next thing that I got, it is the Pure Crystal Clear palette. It's giant. It looks like a little book. And I have a couple palettes that are like this kind of idea of like a book, like a book of colors. And I love them. I don't have any from Pure. Uh, I think the two that I have currently are from Smashbox. So I was like, I'm interested in what's going on here. And it's just, it's huge. I mean, there's so many colors. There's shimmers. 
there's cheek colors, there's highlighters, there's mattes, there's bright colors, there's neutral colors. There's just absolutely everything you could possibly want. Um, I could easily take this with me on a trip and have more than enough to work with for the entire time. Um, I haven't tested it, so I don't know how the formula is, but I know I really love Pure and I love their eyeshadows. Um, so I'm, I have a lot of high hopes for it and I'm excited to do a, um, a face look with this whole book. I believe, yes, so th this palette's only $38. That is a lot of colors for $38. In fact, they say that the retail value is $436. I would never in my life pay that for a palette, but I understand why they would price it at that. So I decided these were on sale, I believe for 40% off. I decided to go ahead and pick up two of the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powders. Have not used them before. However, knowing that I like both their concealer and their foundation, I went ahead and said, I can risk spending $4 on this uh, palette, I mean this palette, this uh, pressed foundation and hoping for the best. So I did pick up two of those because you know I buy things in pairs. Now, I've talked a ton because I bought a ton. I'm going to show you in detail the eight piece free gift that was given to me for the Wednesday deal. And then I'm just gonna show you the bag that we got because I spent $150 for being a diamond member. And I think what Nikki and I have talked about doing is then doing a separate video where I dig into this 30 piece free gift and show you guys everything in there because people really like seeing the Ipsies, they like seeing the boxy charms, they like seeing the subscription services that send you samples and things like that. I think it will be better than trying to shove all of this into a 20 minute video. So I think that's the best way to do it and then that way I can really take time to show you guys what I got in that because there was a lot and a lot of good stuff and I wanna talk about it. So, for the free eight piece set that I got, first thing, I, I know I always joke about like they give you the free bundles or whatever and then they give you like one like little foil packet. This time, maybe they saw my video and listened because this time I got like 10 foil packets and I'm okay with that. There's a lot of stuff in this little sample bag. So I'm not disappointed with this particular sample bag. So that was just a bonus for buying that day. I think if you spent any money, they sent you that. That was cool. And then we also got a free eight piece set for spending $50 at Ulta on Wednesday because I know my Wednesday deals. And uh, yeah, I couldn't resist this one in particular because I had just literally the day before filmed a like 30 minute rant about how much I love and how much Epsom salts have changed my life. And one of the things included in the sample set from Ulta was a one pound bag of Dr. Teal's lavender Epsom salts. And Dr. Teal's and Target are the two brands that I use. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to do it. So I got a nice big sample size of Dr. Teal's Epsom salts. That's probably enough for two baths. It'll probably get me about one because I put extra in there. Then I got a, an exfoliating dual texture scrubber. It's like a loofah, but I think it's got some like stuff in it. Um, and I've gotten a couple of these before. I don't know if it's exactly this one, but something similar to it from Ulta. And I do like them, so I was excited about that. Um, and then they seem to be doing like a mascara vibe for this particular free gift. So I got a BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash Mini, which I've gotten before, but I actually put into the giveaway pile, so I haven't used it yet. I got a Maybelline Lash Sensational. I got an Ulta mascara, and then I got this Mega Last Liquid Matte Lipstick from liquid cats from wet and wild it's from wet and wild wow i don't know why it took me so long to figure that out but that's like a big full-size one pretty color i think it'll be really nice for the fall season then i also got a rock retinol correction eye cream i got one heck of a blot primer from soap and glory and i'm always looking for a nice primer then i got a get your glow on brightening peel mask with papaya and citrus from formula 10.0.6 i think I don't know. But I'm excited about that. That will make a good addition to a skincare video, I'm sure. And I also got Not Your Mother's Natural Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. All right, so the final thing, the Mac Daddy of the haul, the reason that I spent 150 buckaroos was this little baby right here. Love the bag, super durable bag. It's that really nice, like heavy textured plastic material has a beautiful zipper with little snaps on it. And I'm just gonna open it up for you guys to see inside of it. I believe it was a 30 or 40 piece free gift. This, it's full. It is slam packed, packed full of stuff. I'm not gonna dig into this because I really wanna give it enough time without overwhelming content at you 
in one video. So I'm just gonna say I had to spend $150 to get it. I did do that. It was well worth it in my opinion. Those free gifts, man, I can have like $2 worth of stuff that I wanna purchase at Ulta and I see that email come in like, hey, free gift. And I'll be like, all right, I did it yesterday. I spent another $175 at Ulta so I could get another free gift that's this big. But I literally opened the box, saw this in there, and then I placed that order because I was like, I love getting these things and I want that one too. I have a problem, somebody help me, please. Please, God, somebody help me. It was a lot. I threw at you guys. There's going to be a lot of hauls like this. And then I'm on a no-buy. Like, literally, I'm on a no-buy until Black Friday because I know Black Friday sales are coming and I can't do it anymore. I've got, like, four subscription boxes coming. So we, we'll have content, but I can't spend any more money right now because this was, like, my whole paycheck. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just a ton of things thrown at you. Um, but, yeah. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps our page a lot. Please subscribe. I know I already pitched that earlier, but please don't forget to do that because it's really important to us. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.